Hi, my name is Katherine Cameron and I'm an elementary education major. So something I really loved about these chapters was that it talked about a, a lot of things that I feel like are just important to speak about and um, let students know. So with the whole topic of college and how we saw that those students didn't really think that college was like a thing for them and that since their family members did not go to college that it really wasn't an option for them in a way. And when the topic of college came up, they kind of just like laughed and were like, oh, like college, like I don't know anyone that's been to college. Um, and so what I thought was really important was like linking those students up with people who are in college and um, it shows the children that there are opportunities for them out there. And just because their parents didn't go doesn't mean that they can't go, which I really thought was a good way to incorporate it by linking them up. And so now they all do know someone in college, which I thought was amazing. Um, something I really just like love about the author was that she really connects with families and like brings the backgrounds of each and every family, no matter if it's a children's parent, a children's guardian, a friend, like anything, and how she tries to incorporate different things about each family into one and shows the differences between everyone and how everyone's backgrounds are different and all of that. And then I also really loved... Um, when uh, on the chapter of, about activism because I really think that's important to teach the kids and have them go out and do things like that and just like introduce them to that at a young age so it shows when they see people um prejudices around them and whether that's to themselves or someone they know or just someone they see out it's really good to know um how to back that up and how to help others and advocate for them so my critical question for you guys is why do you think it's important to incorporate the children's backgrounds into a classroom and also why how would you incorporate them